Hello everyone, it's Tuesday, January the 5th. I'm just finishing my practice and about to have my breakfast and uh, I'm just saying a few mantras and I thought, let's just share a couple, you know. There's something so marvelous about these sounds, they're Sanskrit, and there's something, they're very ancient. It's said that Sanskrit sound is very pure. So all these different mantras are related to different qualities. For example, mantra of the Buddha of compassion, mantra of Tara is the Buddha of power and action and success and confidence, the mantra of wisdom, Manjushri. So just saying a mantra can not only can be helpful for you, it can help your mind, you know, if you're getting kind of got crazy thoughts, just say a few mantras quietly or sing them. You know, so the Om Mani Padme Hong, for example, has got a lovely tune. Oh Mani Padme Hong. Oh Mani Padme Hong. Oh Mani Padme Hong. We can just say it quietly. Oh Mani Padme Hong. Oh Mani Padme Hong. Oh Mani Padme Hong. So not, but not only does it help you, whoever hears it, you know, will, will be helped. It's said to bless. And even, I mean, Lama Zopa said, even a bone that's a thousand years old, if you say mantra, which blesses your breath, and you then blow on the bone, the consciousness whose body it was would get the benefit. So if you see little dead ants or creatures, or even you go to the market and you see meat, you just say a mantra, do it quietly, they mightn't like it, and you blow on it, it blesses the consciousness whose body that was. So it's a benefit for you, benefit for other people. See you later.